Well, I'm here today with a great old pal of mine, Mary McKenna. Now, Mac, you've played oodles of Curtis Cups and you've won loads of Irish championships. I can't conceive of a career where it's difficult to remember just how many of each you've done. So, out of this glittering career, what are your highlights? What's your best year? Um, off the top of my head, probably, maybe a little bit like your own, 1979. Um, definitely was the sparkling year. Yeah, now that started off, I can remember you whopping me in the semi-finals of the Irish and then Claire Nesbitt and you could hardly stand up at Merv, a golf club and you were something like nine under par for the 27 holes it took you. Yeah, it was a dream, it was a dream week and then we went on um, after that to Vagliano Trophy which we, I think, retained the trophy we have with the, with Europe, retained the trophy Um then I took a whacking from you in the semi-final at the British. Hardly. And you went, over, you went on to win. And then after that was the... Well, we had the European Team Championship in the middle of that, which was the first time Ireland had ever, ever won it. And it was at Hermitage, so that was a pretty special week. Um, and, yeah, all in all, 79 was fantastic. And I think it finished up with uh, me winning the Dax Women Golfer of the Year which was huge in those days. Well, you see, this you've just um, this is my point here. You have omitted what I, as a sort of onlooker, would say must be your greatest achievement, the British title you won in 79, didn't you? The stroke play. You're right. Slipped your yes, mind, it, Mac. It, it, yeah. It, 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 <laughs> it did, yes, yes. Yeah, the this, this stroke play at Mosley, and we had been at, in Porth Call for a practice for Vagliano. We drove up, the weather was awful, um, I had a bad first round, was quite happy with that because I thought I wouldn't qualify so I would get home. And then I had two more good rounds and, and one, I think, by a shot. And then almost missed the presentation because our flight um, our flight was early-ish. So um, I got my trophy and we got the flight. Well, I mean, that was... Who would you... Is there any one person, this is probably impossible, that was your biggest influence or was it a mixture of lots of input from different folk? I suppose there would be a fair amount of input but I think probably on this side of the water Bella Robertson would have been the one who kind of I looked up to big time um, and she had had you know a sparkling career up to that and I think we both won championships in 69 so we were kind of at that home internationals we were both leading the teams so kind of from then she's become a very great friend. So um, if you were pushed to answer who were the best players, male and female, that you ever played with, is there anybody springs to mind there? Off the top of my head, probably, well, there's a, you know, I've been very fortunate because we came up through an era of the Colgate tournament, so you had great chances of playing with the Joanne Carners and the Cathy Whitworths and that. Um, probably um, two of the best would be Catherine Lacoste and Nancy Lopez, mm. without doubt. And then you played a lot of alliances here in Ireland, so you played with a lot of the really good men professionals mm -hmm. as well. Well, the alliance really was probably what kind of kept me going um, right through the winter, and we did. We, we played matches against... I mean, we would have played Christy O'Connor, we'd have played... We'd have had sessions with Harry Bradshaw on the putting green in Port Marnock. We would have played Paddy Skerritt and lots of the Billy Kinsler of the really top players um, and then we would have had a lot of matches with the top amateur men as well which does no doubt paid a huge dividend for me. Well there's something in this house which I covet Mac and that's the wonderful picture of you with Seve. Did you ever get a chance to play with him? No, no, no I didn't, no, no and that was just at the, um, the awards, uh, what was it, 2000 awards yeah, one of the, yeah. I mean, he was just great, wasn't he? Yeah. Charismatic. Golf, golfers of the century, I think. Yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? Now, um, a wee tester for you. Now, it's all been plain sailing. This has been it's easy. easy yeah. yeah. One golf course to play for the rest of your life. Bally which Bally. one and why? What? Did you answer already? Bally Bally. <laughs> <laughs> close close runner-up now with Port Rush, I have to say. But lots of happy members, memories. Two championships there, and well, I'd only won in Port Rush, so 
Yeah, you beat somebody rather remember. good. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I certainly do. Okay, now, one rule to change. Um, I would go back to the old handicapping system. I think the new handicapping system has the, the strong mm. plug on. Mm. Yes, because anything that encourages people not to play can't be good. And Absolutely. they're always scared of going up, aren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. And certainly in the women's section, the women don't want to go up. I mean, they're quite happy to play off 24, even if they can't even play off 36. But yeah. they don't want to get shots back. Yeah. And there's no doubt over the last few years people don't play because they're going to get point one back. Mm -hmm. Now, Mac, any regrets in the game? Um, Places you didn't go or whatever? Um, no, not really. Not really, and I don't think I would have changed anything. I certainly, you know, the, down the pro route was not a route for me because I was very lucky being able to have a job and play and uh, great support from home. So kind of the amateur game was relatively easy for me. Um, but no, I wouldn't. No, maybe a few less three cuts might have come. <laughs> OK, and finally now, don't be alarmed, but your house is on fire. And you've got the opportunity to save one piece of golfing memorabilia as you run out the door. Well, oddly enough, in 64, our house was on fire. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked the question. <laughs> and the two things that were removed were my golf clubs and my mother's fur coat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've already lived through that. Thanks be to God, we all lived through it and there was oh, no, nobody lost. Oh, well. Yeah. And I was left standing in my school uniform, which really wasn't pleasant, but anyway. Oh, Mac, well, listen, it's been great having a chat. We'll do it again sometime. Thank you Will so do. much. Not at all.